Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I just wanted to do a quick and easy little share and tutorial. I learned how to make these cute little bows um, from Crafting with Liller. She does have a YouTube channel and she also has a tutorial on how to make these. So if you guys want to check her way out, you can. I try to do as, <laughs> as um, comparable to her as I could, but of course I always try to find if um, an easy way. Actually, I found two little loops here that need to be cut. So I'm going to show you how to make these and um, we can go from there. She shows these. She's wrapping around a piece of paper. I'm just going to wrap them around my finger. I found that it was a lot easier. And I do have two different sizes. As you can see, I use three fingers to do this one and four fingers to do that one, the bigger ones. And just trying to get rid of this knot here. We'll see. And I got the string from the 99 cent store, which are pretty cheap. You can get these anywhere. And they are just the craft thread flosses. And I got eight, um, I'm not sure if there were eight or maybe four to a pack but this is what I picked up and I actually picked them up a while ago and I didn't really know what I was going to do with them so but then I saw um Lily's little tutorial so I thought perfect and I did do purple and orange because I wanted to do um some for Halloween themed so here I am going to do um the smaller version which is three fingers and I just start wrapping and I am on my last um, thread here, so I don't have too much, but that looks about thick enough. And then you're going to cut the bottom here. And then I just slide them off. Now she used um, to tie the metal to make the bow. She used, I think, some paper, some type of other thing. I'm just going to use this. To me, it was a lot easier. With this one, I did try to use a cord, and it turned out fine, but it just took longer to get the cord to cooperate. So I'm just cutting another little piece of string here so you guys can see. And I do about two knots. And I'm just going to do a tiny little knot here. I do one first and then I kind of move it. You guys can see it's a little lopsided, so I kind of move it to the center because it's not two knots yet. So I'm still able to maneuver it to where I want it. And then that's about right. So then I'm going to go ahead and do another knot. Now it's tight, so I'm going to cut off the excess. And then you see both sides have the loop and you just want to go with your scissors and break that so they are all nicely loose like that. And if there are some pieces that um, are longer than the other, you just go ahead and trim that off. There's one little loop here. All right, so I have that little couple little danglies. There. It looks like that. And then um, what I wanted to do was I know a lot of us have these. These are also like the twines or baker twines these can probably be used the the same way as the regular um threading but i'm going to use these as another uh center part for it just to add some opposite contrast of color thought these would be cute and these are from the dollar tree so of course with the purple i'm going to add that to the orange
and I want to do it, I want to add the, the knot to where the last knot was at, just so they're both on the same side. Of course, it's always hard to do things on camera. You can add rhinestones. You can do whatever you want to add to the bottom. I mean, to the actual center. To make it cute. And it's very small, but it's just a very tiny <laughs> hint of purple. But it gives that tiny bit of contrast. And then with the purple, I'm just going to do an orange which looks like I haven't even gotten into this one yet, so. Let's see how this one turns out. And I'm just doing two knots for that. And I hope you guys are enjoying my little tutorials. Um, I hope it gives some inspiration. I definitely get my inspiration by watching others do theirs. So. And I believe these are from a certain collection that came out. So a lot of people were just making it themselves. So as you can see, here is the purple and here is the orange. Very small. Um, you can't really tell too much, but it does add just that little um, extra, you know, cuteness to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have this string laying around, they're super easy. And again, I'm sure you can do the same thing using this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a like and a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys on my next one. Take care. Bye.